Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will briefly discuss about artificial gravity. Uh, the concept of artificial gravity comes from when a satellite is moving or present outside the gravitational field or gravitational effect of the earth, there is no force acting on that. It can move anywhere without any force and no external force can act on it. This is known as freely space body. This freely space body keep or move inside the atmosphere for extended period of time. Very much time it stay in the atmosphere or in the outside the earth gravitational field. So the problem is that the astronauts that are present inside the uh, this, this gravitational or satellite, artificial satellite, some astronauts may get problem because they do not feel any gravity or they cannot uh, they cannot grow or they cannot progress very well in that atmosphere in order to overcome this problem we need to generate the artificial gravity we need to generate the value of g artificial gravity in order to make them work or their improve, improve their progress first of all we need to understand that how this artificial gravity can be generated for example for example this is an artificial satellite this satellite is moving around outside the earth gravitational field when this satellite is moved or rotate that's not get problem so we need to first of all we need to rotate this satellite around its axis this, it will rotate around its axis in order to generate the artificial gravity. When it move, it rotates around its axis, the astronauts feel that they are some external force acting on that, and they will move toward the axis. They will move toward the center. They will feel that some extra force or central force like Earth gravitation is is pulling them to in toward the center. Like Earth, if we are we go outside of the center. Uh, surface of the earth, earth always try to attract or catch the body towards the center of the earth. That This is the same concept is using for the artificial gravity. It will rotate in the, with the angular velocity omega and it will when it rotates around its axis, all the forces will move towards the center of this uh, artificial satellite and artificial gravity will generate. First of all, we need to understand that what will be the acceleration due to gravity effect on this for example this from the center to the uh, outer surface this is the radius r of the artificial satellite and acceleration due to uh, gravity or acceleration is equal to omega square into r this is the r and this omega is the angular velocity at which it is moving so this uh, is it move for one complete rotation it completes uh, one cycle so one cycle has a period of 2 pi or distance of 2 pi and we know the relation s is equal to v multiplied by t if we uh, convert this uh, linear into circular path so this s will be denoted by 2 pi because this is, is covered by 2 pi distance and v is a linear velocity we will convert into angular velocity omega and t is a time taken by the whole circular path. So this relation can be used in order to calculate the uh, acceleration due to gravity or artificial gravity which produces. So this we can find the value of omega from this expression. The value of omega is equal to this t will replace its side 2 pi over t. So if we we need to make this scale so if we take square of this term, we will get omega square is equal to 4 pi square over t square. So omega square is equal to 4 pi square over t square. So if we put this in this relationship, so a is equal to omega square into r. So omega square is equal to this term. So, omega square is equal to 4 pi square over t square 
into r is equal to a or we can say that this a is due to gravity so we can put this as g because we have generated the artificial gravity from this term so this will be replaced by g gravity and 4 pi square over t square into r so we need to calculate its frequency and how much frequency which we need to rotate that object or that artificial satellite in order to get the artificial gravity so we need to calculate the uh, frequency so the fre we know the formula of frequency is equal to inverse of time period this is a general formula or we can find the time period with, which is inverse of frequency so we can see that g is equal to 1 by t square if we separate this term into 4 pi square into r if we replace this term to the other side of the equal we can get g over r into 4 pi square is equal to 1 by t square from this formula we can see that 1 by t is frequency and if we take square it will become frequency square so we can replace this 1 by t square by f square because it is inverse of frequency so we will get the final term we are close to the final solution so 1 over t square is equal to g over r into 1 over 4 pi square we also separated this term so 1 over t square is equal to f square frequency square is equal to 1 over 4 pi square into g over r we also uh, shuffle these terms if we take square root on both sides because we do not need square of frequency we only need frequency so taking square root on both sides f square square root is equal to 1 over 4 pi square into g over r square root so you know that this square will be cancelled out by square root and only term will be remaining which is frequency so after finding out the frequency we will need to know that frequency is dependent on which term and frequency is not dependent on which term so frequency this frequency is equal to if we take square root of this term it will become 1 over 2 pi and g over r will remain same so you see that this frequency is dependent on gravitational constant and which will remain constant at every point and this frequency is inversely proportional to square root of radius of the earth this is known as radius of the earth this because it is a capital R so we can say that frequency is inversely proportional to the square root of radius of earth you can you can we can also conclude that frequency has a direct relation with gravitational force or gravity and frequency frequency has inverse relation of radius of earth if radius is very very high frequency will be very very low if radius is very very low frequency will be very very high up till now we have finished about the uh, or, uh, artificial gravity and we also discussed its parameters as well as we also discussed that how we can generate even we discussed that how this artificial gravity can be generated and why we need to do need to generate the artificial gravity in order to overcome some problems for astronauts after generating this frequency astro uh, astronauts can work very well or um, their performance can be increased we have discussed many things about artificial gravity if you like our video you can subscribe our channel for more videos because we have uploaded all the videos in our channel and even we have uploaded all the links in the description you can see that if you like our video or you, if you are con confused you can contact us on our email address we will help you out uh, we do not want to lose some marks in the exam so we will see you in the next video bye bye